The original description of Alzheimer's disease occurred when Alois Alzheimer identified certain pathology in the brain of a very young woman, Auguste D. In 2010, we were able to look at the genetic predisposition of Auguste D and discovered that she actually had a specific genetic form with an early onset, which is much like the form that's being portrayed in this movie. So in some ways, this film portrays the original description of Alzheimer's disease. The striking thing is that in these early stages, a person has awareness of some of their um, first cognitive loss, and that can be very uh, disturbing and distressful for them. I've been seeing a neurologist. You've been seeing a neurologist, why? They think that it might be early onset Alzheimer's disease. When advising Julianne Moore on how to uh, relate this type of Alzheimer's disease, we focused on several things. In particular, it was important that she realized that a person may actually look quite fine and not show many symptoms early on. In fact, the most striking uh, aspect is the unpredictability of performance. But there is no diagnosis yet? No. Okay. Well, then I think that this is uh, uh, ridiculous. It's complete bullshit. Damn it! Is... Why won't you take me seriously? No, I know what I'm feeling. I know what it's feeling, and, and it feels like my brain is dying, and everything I've worked for in my entire life is going. It's all, all, all going. Early on, she has a scene where she can't remember words in her lecture, and this could be normal or not. Now, you may say that this falls into the great academic tradition of knowing more and more about less and less until we know everything about nothing. <laughs> But I hope to convince you that by observing these baby steps into the... into... Uh, I... Uh, I knew I shouldn't have had that champagne. <laughs> I thought she captured the early stage quite well, where she finds there are simple things that are dropping out and she's disturbed by it. And I think even as she goes on to portray the more advanced stages, she shows us the vacancy that occurs when a person has this disease. Stethoscope. Julianna Moore asks herself three questions every day and tries to remember or she practices words. These things in individuals who don't have symptoms of the disease may help keep them aware and alert, but there's no evidence that it actually changes the progression of the disease. I don't think we are close to a cure. We do have treatments. The effect or benefit of the treatments are small, but they're robust, which means that everybody gets a little benefit from these treatments. What's it like? I've always been so defined by my intellect, my language, my articulation, and now sometimes I can see the words hanging in front of me and I can't reach them and I don't know who I am and, and I don't know what I'm gonna lose next. Sounds horrible. I think that the critical aspects of the film are that this disease can strike anyone. And uh, I also think it's important to realize that there are stages of the disease which are mild and a person still stays among us and a person still stays very active in their own care and management. And I think it's important that people realize that so they don't hesitate to find out if they're concerned about a symptom or a problem. I am not suffering. I am struggling. Struggling to be a part of things, to stay connected to who I once was. So live in the moment, I tell myself. It's really all I can do. Live in the moment.